Welcome to One Stroke Advantage. So today I am showing you how to do this fun watercolor background with dripping paint. See how fun that is? Actually, I didn't put out green. I need green too. So I'm going to put out a little bit of um, sap. Let's get sap. I just picked up citrus. And then what we're going to do is have a spray bottle with water. And I am going to put some sap over to the side here. All right. So those are the colors I use. Teal, violet pansy. I might get some dioxazine purple, but I think we're good with violet pansy. Teal, violet pansy, magenta, wicker white, and sap. All right. So this is just a straight canvas. And I'm going to show you how we're going to get all that drippy color. Okay. So that's the first step that we do. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to spritz this. Okay. All right. Do I have enough water in it? <laughs> I should have tested this before I started. I'm sorry. But I'll just put a little bit more water in here. And it's okay that water gets on the canvas. But I kind of want to wet the background. And then we use some water to spritz it with also. We're using our multi-surface paint. And you can make this any color you want. All right. So I chose to wet it. I don't know if you can see. Yeah, a little bit. There you go. A little bit of water before we get started. All right. And so then what I want to do is I'm going to pick up some of the colors. I chose these purples and pinks, but I want you to know you can choose any color you want. Okay. And some of this might show coming down. All right. So then I'm going to wash that. And I did put a teeny bit of green right through here. All right. And it drips down from here. All right. And we're going to get some purple. Okay. And it'll have a little bit off of this edge. Okay. So just wait. I'm going to do some great stuff here. A little bit of floating medium with magenta. Okay. All right. Oops. And I did bring a teeny bit of green over here. Okay. Now, this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to lay a paper towel down here. All right. So then I'm going to lift this a little bit higher so you see. All right. This way. All right. So I'm going to hold it up. And I'm going to spray some more till it starts dripping like I want it to drip. But having a paper towel down here is a good thing. And you can decide how much to do. Okay. And you can trail some of it over if you want it to look a little different. But you can't really control much of it. So what it is is what it is. Okay. And everybody's is going to be different. And I can put a blow dryer on this and get a different look also. But I am going to put this up so a little bit keeps trilling. All right. Now I'm going to have a heart in here. And I'm going to come over here and come over here. And that's going to help me get that shape I want. All right. And it is a little bit higher, a little bit higher. All right. So I'm going to hit this with a blow dryer. It's kind of fun to see how it happens. Okay. 
Now you can see how I did that, how I worked on that. And, and I can also say a little bit more water there. But I'm going to take a pencil and put my center and down here my the bottom. And then over here on both sides, it's about two fingers. All right, so you go up and over, up and over, and then down. Okay. I want a little bit higher than that. Okay, so I'm going to take this three quarter inch flat, guys. And I'm going. I don't know, I still like a little bit more of that running. Okay. Okay. So I'm going to pick up a little bit of medium. This has water and been dried on the paper towel. And I'm going to come right around here. So do your edges first. Okay, right around here. All the way around. So now I'm going to get this, keep picking up the violet pansy around the edge and come down to a tip. Okay. And then again. And then again. All right. There we go. Okay. So we're getting all this base coated in. All right. All right. So I'm not worried about it being perfect because by the time, guys, we put on all of this other detail on here, um, it's going to be okay because you don't see it very good. All right. So now what I'm going to do is I'm gonna use my 12 flat. I'll put this here so I can work from here. And the first thing I did was I picked up some of the Violet Pansy with some white and the 12 flat. Okay, so I want a little bit of soft look here and I'm gonna come right with the corners. See, I'm gonna switch the corners. Slip, slap, slip, slap, and come down a little bit in here. All right, so I need to make it slightly darker so you see it better, but it can be white there. All right, now I'm going to flip the corner to the other corner, and I'm just going to dot, 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 and then I thought I used um, dioxazine purple. And you can, but that's, I really did just do this. And I tapped it and got it darker and darker in some areas. All right. And then let's go pick up white. So I did come right in there with some white. Tap, tap, tap. Because these are like stock flowers over here, so it's fine. And they're not perfect. I just thought this was a fun look. A little bit more purple up there. And then I'm going to come way over here and get almost all white, but I'm on, I've got the purple all in that brush, but the corner that's white, I just keep picking up white, guys. All right. Now I'm going to put some purples and stuff all around here as we go, but I'm not going to do that. Well, I'll come right here. I can do a little bit in here. Let's get a little bit of Violet Pansy. 
me just put a little bit in here. I think there's a little bit through here that I don't want to add some um, violet pan. I mean, now uh, magenta in here too. But right now, I'll just put a little bit of that. And then I am going to get some darker purple, the little bits here and there. Then the leaves will go. So the idea is you want some dark, some light. And you're taking it from some of this purple in here too. All right, so let's get some really dark in here. Dark, dark, dark. A little dark in here. And a little bit dark through there. So then it's, it's okay if you don't see that perfect round on that heart. Okay. Now, one thing I'm going to do while I have this purple violet pansy, I'm going to go here. I do that to spread it out so I have more area to go side load. See how I'm side loading? Okay, so I'm going to come up here and I'm going to get a few strokes. Okay. And I'm going to continue to do these little five petal flowers and you're using the purple in the back and you know you can even do this where, while it's wet I've had interruption interruptions because of the uh, storm here oops so it's not as wet as when I usually work with it let me put darker violet pansy and then work it in here a little bit more. And then just side load white. Okay, I'm going to come right in here. Side load white. All right, so think about other color combinations you would like. I thought this was pretty, these colors. Especially with the drippy colors we did so i want you to understand that the drippy colors can be any choice i chose some greens and teals so that means you could put them in your leaves some too if you want to some of those colors okay and then up here i put a little one right in there within the leaves okay you can even have it come out here past the heart all right so now we're going to work with the magenta okay orders i mean the paint's not dripping on here anymore so i can put that to the side and i have it tilted so that the glare's not on there so I'm going to pick up some magenta and white, still with the 12 flat, but I washed it in between if you haven't seen that. All right. So I want you to see that I'm going to come right in here. And I'll do little small strokes in here. Actually, you would probably stage down to a smaller flat. So let's see, let's do an eight or a 10. Okay, this is an eight. I'm gonna work a white and magenta. Okay, so we're gonna go a little smaller ones. So we pick up the magenta and then we just come around with the white so one two three four five probably do at least five and those are kind of the only place I put these little guys okay now, then I'm going to um, pick up some 
of both those colors. And I'm going to tap them all in here. Make it a little bit muddy through there. Now I'm going back and forth. I'm going to go out here a little bit here and there. My little dabs. All right, I do come in here with some, with the corner. Now you can put the leaves and then come add some of these after, but I'm going ahead and adding a few in here now. So it's the white and the magenta. Back and forth, back and forth. Get a little bit in here. Okay. Oops. Yeah, you know, put a little bit of that pretty white in there. And then in other areas right here, I'm going to bring the purple into it. All right. And then down in here. All right, so I kind of did that fill, and then I'm going to come back. Let's still get another, uh, just a smaller brush, not a 12. All right, now I don't have citrus out here, so I am going, oops, I am going to pull the citrus. And we're going to put a little bit of that over there, where then I can take citrus and sap and work it in. If y'all can see that. All right, so I want to put a few strokes. That's too dark. I'm going to put a few strokes here and there with the citrus. Around the pink and the purple. Okay. All right. Now, I'm going to have a vine coming up on both sides, guys. But before I do that, let's just take um, a little, I was looking for a one script liner, a one or a two. Here's a one. Now, I'm going to take magenta and do little dabs in here. Little dabs of magenta. And then we'll put some white in there too. And used to I use the handle all the time. But sometimes I want them smaller. And you can use the kiss tool. There you go. Okay, so now let's get some white. See how that makes it pop? A little bit of white in there. Okay. All right. So then the pink ones, 
I'm going to use the kiss tool and I'm going to dot those with just one nice size citrus green. Okay, a little bit of green. All right. So now all we have to do is put some pretty green and then do some floating. All right. So I'm going to take a 12 for the rest of this. This might be 10 or 12. All right. So I'm going to come right in here. A little bit of white in the citrus. And I got some teal and some sap, so that'll work. All right, so I'm going to come right along here and bring some stems in along here. I'm going to come into this area and we'll put a little bit of green there, a little bit out here, some white in there with that citrus. All right. All right. And then there's a little bit going here. But it's kind of like this green is continuing to fall along here. So we're going to take it this way. We put a green stem. All right, so let's go up here. So I'm going to put a little bit of sap. Right, right up here. You pull the stem. All right. Now, right here. So I've got this coming out this way, and I did one, two, three, and then I came over here a little bit. All right. And we're going to come around here. All right, so I'm going to come right across here so that y'all can see where that goes. That makes it easier for you to make that path if you go ahead and put a stem there. And then what I'm doing is I'm just going around and pulling stems. You just want that looks like this vine's going through here. And I can even pick up some pink. See how there's some magenta in there. A little bit of citrus. And I can go a little bit more on here. And then this one starts right here and it goes way out there. All right. All right, I have a little bit that comes out that way. Okay. I think you'll see what made this look good, though, guys. That's enough. I'm going to dry it just for a minute. And then I'm going to show you how I float around there. It's a quick, fun little project. Now, what I wanted to do, I think you guys will see. Um, that where is that brush? Um, you might have the coat on a second time because see, we're not getting that bright green. See the bright green that I put on here. 
And then the dark floating, I did a little floating around the edge that I want to see. So if I come in here with a teeny bit of white and citrus, there, so. Oh, there's a couple of spots in here that I can make it a little bit brighter. There, a little bit brighter. Okay, so now what I want to do is take a larger brush, like here's a 16 and we wet it. We're gonna get floating medium. And I'm gonna come over here and side load the violet pansy. All right, so what I did was just a little bit, especially when it's not looking like it's got depth. So a little bit of medium. All right, so it gives you a little bit of richness there. A little bit around here. Oops, see that green is not dry. I'm gonna take that off. Wipe it off, come back and get some more. Oh, my goodness. See how I picked up that whole glob of paint? Darn it. Okay, so wet brush will clean up it a lot. And then we wipe it off and start over. Okay. All right, so medium and a little bit of Violet pansy around there and around here. Okay, so see that made it look a little bit richer. And then if I come along here. Okay. We I think that for the violet pansy around there. Okay. And you can also just come in here, here, and there, and slip, slap, take it, slip, slap the corner. Okay, and get some darker in here. I just float around a little bit on the inside, but I don't know if I can do that without messing up. It came right along in here. But if you let it dry or you blow dry it, one of the two, you can get a lot of good looks in there. Okay. All right, then you sign it. So just think any kind of flowers you want to paint on, it can rosebuds, it can be daisies, it can be all kinds of flowers. And then we're going to take and sign it and share it. So I want you to uh, just imagine what this would look like and all kinds of like all blues. Styles. There's all kinds of looks that you can get. So, so I hope you enjoyed that. Just um, let me show you again. The difference is everybody's is going to be so different because of the backgrounds. All right. So this one I got a little pinker. Did you notice that? With the magenta up in here. I didn't add as much white over here. But so you're still getting a nice look. You just choose what look you want. And you start with your background. So get a good spray bottle, a spray bottle that sprays well for you. And let's have fun painting and sharing 
different kinds of hearts that you do. Okay, we had to make a challenge. All right, see you next week.